Japanese robots are taking the world by storm with one of the largest robotics exhibitions of the year. Japan Robot Week 2025, which is underway in the land of the rising sun. Dozens of companies have gathered at the exhibition to showcase their latest developments in robotic technologies. However, the real stars of this year's event are robotic humanoids. This year, Japanese robots are facing serious competition from their Chinese counterparts. China's advancements in robotics have reached unprecedented levels, and it's becoming increasingly difficult for Japanese robots to maintain their global leadership in the field. We've prepared a report highlighting the most interesting exhibits of the exhibition, so you can decide which country's robots have conquered Japan. Robot Week 2025 Japanese engineers from Tokyo Robotics brought their humanoid robot to Robo to the exhibition, and its capabilities are truly impressive. This robot can wipe tables, hammer nails, saw wood, move heavy objects, and much more. The robot can lift up to 8 kilograms with one hand, and the maximum force it can apply reaches 20 kilograms in certain positions, making it ideal for heavy industrial tasks such as moving and stacking loads. Tirobo is equipped with seven axis manipulators, allowing it to effectively mimic human arm movements and perform precise manipulations with objects. Its ability to work with different items is enhanced by integrated cameras and sensors that enable it to recognize and analyze its surroundings, interacting with high precision. Today, this robot already surpasses humans in many ways, and soon it may completely replace them in certain tasks. A humanoid robot named Ibuki. This humanoid robot has the face of a 10-year-old boy and is equipped with a pair of arms and a wheeled platform with asymmetrical wheels. Due to them, the robot sways slightly in motion, simulating the movement of the human body when walking. Ibuki's face not only express emotions, but also include involuntary movements adding realism. The robot blinks and moves its head and eyes slightly. Ishiguro himself believes that such developments are important because they open up possibilities for natural nonverbal communication between robots and humans. It is worth noting that some humanoid robots do find commercial applications. For example, the gynoid Aiko Chihira, developed by Toshiba specialists, began performing duties as a consultant in one of the Japanese shopping centers in 2015. The Japanese startup Jinki Itai brought a 12-meter humanoid robot to the exhibition capable of lifting and moving heavy loads such as steel pipes, sheets, or wires. It essentially mimics the movements of a real human operator in the control cabin. The robot is operated by a single engineer using a VR headset, allowing operators to see their actions through cameras installed in the robot's eyes. Jinki's robot will also be used for tree felling, obstacle removal, infrastructure painting, and signal equipment replacement. The need for robots arose due to Japan's labor shortage, which has long been an issue due to the rapidly aging population. Currently, around 29% of the country is over the age of 65, leading to a significant shortage of workers in many industries. Robots are not only expected to solve this problem, but also to increase the safety of human workers by taking over dangerous tasks. Engineers at Toyota have developed a humanoid robot called THR3. Since its creation, the robot has undergone numerous updates and improvements significantly increasing its functional capabilities. The robot's movements are controlled by a human operator using the Master Maneuvering System module. The operator received tactile feedback and the image transmitted from the robot displayed on a virtual reality headset, HTC Vive. Special gloves and servo motors are also used enabling the operator to control the robot instantly with precise movements and applied force. The robot demonstrates excellent balance, including the ability to stand on one leg and perform various movements. Toyota's robot stands at approximately 152 centimeters and weighs about 75 kilograms. While it serves as a test platform, the ideas and capabilities implemented in it can be used in devices for home use, medical facilities, construction sites, areas affected by natural disasters and even space in the future. This year, the Chinese company Unity has become one of the most popular in the world, which is no surprise, as its robots are breaking dozens of world records. At the exhibition, the company showcased its most advanced creations, which, without exaggeration, 
have captured the hearts of the Japanese audience. Unitary brought its most modern robot, Dog, the Unitary B2, which has already set numerous records this year. This robot can maintain balance on stairs and accelerate to an incredible 6 meters per second. It can carry over 120 kilograms and walk for more than 5 hours on a single battery charge. The dynamic capabilities of its actuators allow the robot to perform long jumps of over 1.6 meters, leap off ledges more than a meter high, and run at a maximum speed of 6 meters per second for spatial orientation. The B2 uses a LiDAR, a depth camera, and a high-resolution regular camera. Another star of the exhibition from Unitary was the humanoid robot Unity H1, which continues to develop at an incredible pace. This year, the Chinese robot Unity H1 also managed to set several world records. For example, it became the first humanoid robot to perform a backflip without hydraulics and set a speed record for robotic humanoids. Despite its somewhat unconventional appearance, this robot is one of the most promising developments in the industry. Currently, the robot is priced at around $90,000, and it is expected to take a few more years before it reaches the market. The robot stands 180 centimeters tall, weighs 47 kilograms, and has a payload capacity of up to 30 kilograms. Like its competitors, Tesla Optimus and Figure 01, it currently lacks human-like hands, but work in this area is already underway. This humanoid robot is sure to draw attention at any event and exhibition. But the true star of the exhibition was one of the most technologically advanced robots in the world, which we've mentioned many times in our videos. Introducing the G1A robot with a base version price of just $16,000 for this price, buyers get a humanoid robot with 23 degrees of freedom, equipped with electric motors generating up to 90 newton meters of torque. The Unit Tree G1 stands at 127 centimeters tall and weighs 35 kilograms. G1 can walk at speeds of up to 2 meters per second and operate on a single battery charge for around 2 hours. According to Unit Tree G, one uses a neural network model for its control system, which is trained in simulation through reinforcement learning as well as imitation learning. Meet Andrea, a Japanese humanoid robot recently unveiled at the Stuttgart Media University. Andrea features a realistic appearance, dressed in a hoodie, t-shirt, jeans, and white sneakers, giving the robot a modern and casual look. The robot can display various facial expressions and gestures, allowing it to interact with others on a more human level. Andrea is equipped with sensors and software that enable it to respond to external stimuli and engage with people in real time. Andrea was developed by Japanese robotics experts and acquired by HDM for research and human-robot interaction. The robot is used to study interactions between humans and androids and to teach students programming and robot customization. As part of the project, students work with five robotic heads learning to program facial expressions and other gestures. Another fascinating development showcased at the exhibition came from Kawada Robotics Company which presented its most advanced collaborative robot named NextAge. NextAge is designed primarily to replace humans in monotonous tasks. According to the manufacturer, the robot can work alongside people other machines and use specialized tools. The robot's torso weighs only 29 kilograms, while its base weighs a hefty 130 kilograms. Its height is adjustable and can reach up to 170 centimeters. NextAge can lift objects weighing up to three kilograms. The robot is intended for use in factories and other production lines, and it can be controlled via a tablet with specialized software that is easily customized for specific tasks. Another advanced robot, dog called Vision 60, from Ghost Robotics was presented by American engineers at Japan Robot Week 2024. According to the developers, this robot is a quadrupedal, unmanned device designed for autonomous and remotely controlled tasks in challenging environments. Vision 60 is equipped with a balancing system that helps it navigate unstable surfaces and can even submerge in water up to one meter for 30 minutes. The robot is fitted with five cameras that allow real-time image transmission to operators and supports autonomous routes with a battery that lasts up to three hours, enabling it to cover up to 12 kilometers on a single charge. 
Vision 60 can carry a payload of up to 10 kilograms and features an open architecture allowing the integration of various equipment, such as radiation sensors, night vision cameras, radio systems, and more. The Boston Dynamics Company brought an upgraded version of their robot dog named Spot to the exhibition now equipped with a robotic arm. The robot demonstrated its impressive capabilities such as climbing stairs, following various commands, and identifying and picking up a tennis ball from the floor. Spot's robotic arm has six degrees of freedom and is equipped with a gripper that can grab, lift, move, pull, and place objects. The arm can lift loads weighing up to 11 kilograms and pull objects up to 25 kilograms. Its built-in RGB camera with lighting allows the robot to inspect objects before performing tasks. The combination of Spot's mobility and the capabilities of its arm makes it an invaluable assistant in industries like manufacturing and security. The robot is used for facility inspections, construction, hazardous zone monitoring, home assistance, and rescue operations. Let me know in the comments, which of the robots did you like the most? And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you want to stay updated on the future of AI and robotics. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.